The last race of the week, the junior Two men's minutes. eight. Again, one of the more fascinating boat classes that are raced here at the World Championships. Finishing off the week, the fast, fast boat class is always the way to do it. The last chance for the Canadians here in lane one to get a medal. All of these boats faced in a preliminary race earlier this week, Germany in lane two. Lane three, the United States of America. Won the preliminary race by three seconds was Great Britain, who will be in lane four. New Zealand, Samuel Fisher, the Coxie for New Zealand in lane five. And France Canada. in lane six. Germany. Theo Ruggeri as the Coxie for France. As we're New looking Zealand. to get underway in France. just a few moments. Attention. You can see those boat holder fingers are all the way in for these eights to be right at that starting line. And probably the most power being generated here this week in this boat class. 50 strokes a minute for Team Great Britain. Canada up to 46 strokes per minute. They find themselves in second place. So that's a wrap for the World Championships 2024. Again, this is Thank the last you. race. No races starting after this. All teams within 12 meters of each other. In the preliminary race, it went Great Britain, USA, New Zealand, Germany, France, Canada, in that order. Of course, this is Canada's last chance to earn a medal for their country. Every other boat in this race has already won at least one medal, except for Canada. Great Britain now up to a 17 meter lead on the USA who again came second in that preliminary race. Team GB are the defending world champions of the U23. And the U19 looking to repeat their success this year. Germany, though, third place right now, will look for some revenge as they were the silver medalists. Just being left behind by Team GB. France currently in fifth place, have three returning rowers with international experience on this boat. Unfortunately for Canada now, 45 meters back is gonna be extremely difficult to catch up to first. But they're still only around 10 to 11 meters behind that bronze medal spot so I'm sure the Canadians watching here 
on the broadcast and at the Henley will be pleased with a bronze medal if that is the case here in this men's U19-8. Three seconds in front of the USA is Great Britain, Germany behind them. You see just how fast these boats are, all under 20 kilometers an hour. Again, the, the front of the boat will be a little bit out of the water with just how much weight is in the boat and how fast they are going. The Coxie's job is to communicate their strategy, stroke rate. They'll all, they are also steering the boat. As you see, every team is a few seconds away from each other. Great Britain, USA, Germany, one, two, three. New Zealand, though, would not sleep on them within the last 500 meters, as they might sneak past the Germans to capture a medal here, as they were the third place team in the preliminary. I'm sure some part of their strategy is to give a major piece at the end and finally get the bronze medal they've been or a medal at least of what they've been hoping for. As they pass the 1500 meter marker, the coaches and the athletes will pass it on to the fans to bring the rowers home on the water. Again, the last race of the 2024 World Rowing Championships here in St. Catharines, Canada. An immaculate finish in store for us here in the men's eight. Today's been all about the juniors. Romania has done extraordinary today. Italy have done great. Greece has been beautiful, but it is Great Britain right now 15 meters in front of the USA. USA trying to catch them. Great Britain, the reigning champions from last year. Trying to catch Romania on the medal standings. Speeds increase, stroke rate increases. It will not be enough for the USA to catch now back-to-back -back world champions, Team GB. USA will get the silver. Germany with the bronze. As France and, France and Canada finish fifth and sixth. New Zealand held that third place position for a while, Germany Three seconds in front of them. New Zealand just didn't have enough to make it to the end. They came third in the preliminary race. Not enough to make it a medal here on Sunday. Under six minutes for both first and second. Canada will go this World Championships without a medal on home soil. One, two more victory ceremonies to go. We will turn our attention to the Junior Women's Single Skulls happening now. The medals will be presented by President of World Rowing. Le président de World Rowing. Jean-Christophe Rohr. 